We are all aware of the incredible progress Godot has made recently, releasing outstanding new versions that provide us with essential tools. The community has kept pace by continuously developing add-ons. Today, I will introduce 5 add-ons that will undoubtedly enhance your game development experience. Let's get started. RL Agents is a must-have for developers creating complex behaviors for their non-player characters or agents. Basically, if you want to have some NPCs or characters that you can talk to and you want to call their AI, RL Agents will really help you with this task. This add-on uses a collection of algorithms that will teach the expected behavior to the characters. To achieve this, the add-on provides a, vari a variety of environments where the characters are going to be learning the exact behavior that you want. Eventually, we will get to the results that are outstanding as the tests are accurate and deep. For sure, for anybody looking forward to creating complex behavior for their non-player characters, RL agents can absolutely be a good choice. Cyclops Level Builder is the best level builder add-on that exists. Basically, it will allow you to quickly prototype any kind of level that you want. You can build stairs, tunnels, houses, a complete map, etc. because it creates some easy to put and use blocks whose materials and textures can be seamlessly modified in order to build any structure that you want, so indeed it is quite versatile. Definitely, what makes Cyclops Level Builder unique is how easy it is to implement in the engine and start building levels with it. Even though levels are usually built in a modeling software such as Blender, Cyclops will allow you to only use one program to make your level a reality, because you can do everything inside of the Godot engine. And it literally provides all the needed tools in order to do this task. So basically, to quickly prototype a level that you don't need much stuff that should be done in a different piece of software, definitely Cyclops Level Builder is an option that is worth considering. Creating good looking UIs could be a challenging task. Not only that, but also creating a container for all the different elements of the interface. With auto layout, you will literally have no need anymore to use any kind of container node as creating a layout is super simple. Instead of having to parent your nodes to some kind of container or control node, the only thing that you're going to do is that you're going to select the corresponding objects or nodes that you want to align that you want to apply some kind of layout and then you're going to press shift A. Once you do this, different containers are going to be applied to the current elements that you have already selected. You can keep pressing Shift A in order to change through the different containers in the list. As you can see, the layouts that it gives you are quite quite simple. So this add-on isn't actually meant to help with more complex UIs or for UIs that are a little bit that need to be a little bit more customizable. It is just a handy tool that will allow you to create simple uh, layouts that don't require much of different things, okay? Node Referencer When we are creating scripts in Godot, we may have reference to our nodes in the script. The advantages of this, in short, is basically that it avoids having to modify different lines in the code if the node path changed because you deleted, renamed, or added some other node that may modify the node path. With Node Referencer, creating these references is as simple as selecting the nodes to which we want to have a reference and click the Create Reference button. Now in the script, we are going to have created all the corresponding variables re referring to the nodes that we have selected with the already attribute so that they are initialized as they should. By doing this, all the variables are going to be up to start be used. Handling scene changes in Godot is quite easy, but adding transitions between them make the change smoother and better received by the player as it adds a layer of visual beauty to the game. Instead of having to code or create these transitions yourself, Scene Manager allows you to, in just one line of code, handle all these scene transitions. Not only are you able to use these transitions, but also to modify some of their parameters to actually make them fit your game style. You can easily modify the fade in, fade out, the color, the time, and it provides some presets for this phase that are quite handy as well. 
for sure it's an option worth investigating deeper in its documentation to learn more about this amazing plugin. It makes the scene changes much smoother and the transitions are made quite easily. So these were the 5 add-ons that I wanted to present in this video, if you found any of them useful let me know in the comments down below and subscribe for more content related to good old add-ons. See you on the next one and bye bye.